U.S. Treasury says U.S. could default as soon as June 1st. Let's dive into the details, shall we? Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen notified Congress on Monday that the U.S. could default on its debt as early as June 1st if legislators do not raise or suspend the nation's borrowing authority before then and avert what could potentially become a global financial crisis. In a letter to House and Senate leaders, Yellen urged congressional leaders to protect the full faith and credit of the United States by acting as soon as possible to address the $31.4 trillion limit on its legal borrowing authority. She added that it is impossible per to predict with certainty the exact date of when the U.S. will run out of cash. We have learned from past debt limit impasses that waiting until the last minute to suspend or increase the debt limit can cause serious harm to business and consumer confidence, raise short-term borrowing costs for taxpayers, and negatively impact the credit rating of the United States, Yellen said in the letter. Also Monday, the Congressional Budget Office reported that it saw a greater risk of the United States running out of funds in early June. CUBO Director Philip A. L. Swaggle said because of less than expected tax receipts this filing season and a faster IRS having processed already received returns, Treasury's extraordinary measures will be exhausted sooner than we previously projected. In January, Yellen sent a letter to congressional leaders stating that her department had begun resorting to extraordinary measures to avoid a federal government default. The Treasury said Monday it plans to increase its borrowing during the April to June quarter of this year, even as the federal government is close to breaching the debt limit. The United States plans to borrow $726 billion during the quarter. That's $449 billion more than projected in January due to a lower beginning of quarter cash balance and projections of lower than expected income tax receipts and higher spending. While Russia's invasion of Ukraine remains a burden on the United States economy's growth, Treasury officials say the debate over the debt ceiling poses the greatest risk to the United States' financial position. Eric Van Nodstrand, acting assistant secretary for Ec economy policy, said in a statement that even if Congress ultimately raises the debt limit before a default occurs, the ensuing uncertainty could raise borrowing costs and induce other financial stress that would weaken our labor market and our standing in the world. There is no time to waste, said Shay Akabis, director of economic policy at the Bipartisan Policy Center, which forecasts the so-called X date when the government exhausts its extraordinary measures. His organization will also provide an updated X date projection in the coming days, he says. The U.S. government is again within mere months or even weeks of failing to make good on all its obligations. That is not a position befitting a country considered the bedrock of the financial system and only adds uncertainty to an already shaky economy. Democrats and the White House are pushing for Congress to increase the federal debt limit. President Joe Biden wants the cap raised without negotiation. Of course he does. The House Republican majority has most recently passed a bill to secure spending cuts in exchange for a debt limit increase. Biden on Monday invited the four congressional leaders to the White House on May 9th to discuss the matter. Yellen said last week at the cap to cap policy conference in Washington, Congress must vote to raise or suspend the debt ceiling limit, and it should do so without condition, and it should not wait until the last minute. I believe that is a basic responsibility of our nation's leaders to get this done. So we're in this mess because uh, of just out of control spending, and then Biden and Yellen are both like, 
No, just no negotiations. We're not going to cut spending. Just keep raising the debt limit. That's the problem. That's why we have a problem with why couldn't the debt limit just stay the same? Just quit spending more money. The government just can't help themselves. This is insanity. It's year after year after year after year. Debt ceiling limit increase. Debt ceiling limit increase. Debt ceiling limit increase. Why is it? Why does it keep happening? Shouldn't the debt be going down at some point? Like ever? The debt never can go down. It only ever goes up. It's crazy. And then they're like, no, there should be no negotiations. Just increase the debt, like, just forever? I mean, they're even saying this is, it's it's annoying every time, you know, when it's just mere months or weeks away, it creates so much uncertainty and borrowing and the economy and all this stuff. Then why do they keep increasing it? The negotiations have to happen. I think it should be the opposite. The Biden admin should concede to all the debt spending decreases is is possible. You want to just get rid of the debt, and then you don't have to worry about this. The debt ceiling's so high now, thirty one trillion dollars. Hey, if you knocked five trillion off, you got another. You got what five trillion? You know, in the bank, in 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 extra debt limit for the future. Why don't they ever do that? No, nope, just no negotiations. Just give us whatever you want and just keep increasing the debt. It's Congress's fault. Okay. Uh, what's your opinion on this story, though? Please let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel for daily news updates. Hit that notification bell and share this video to help spread the news. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.